Which school did you finish from? When are you getting married? How are you sure I'm not already married? I was just talking about you. Yes. What's the name of the body cream you're using? What's something you're really bad at? Dancing. Hey, God. I told you guys to ask me questions on Instagram to film a get to know me video and a number of you asked questions. I'm going to be answering those questions in this video. I'm going to be unboxing this hair and installing it. First question says, which school did you finish from? I finished from Bingham University. It's a school in Nasarawa. And I've said this in a couple of my videos. But people will be asking, even this video, under the comment section, you will see which school did you go to. After spraying, I'm going to be detangling it with this octopus brush. I got this brush from Barnex Plaza. Apart from nursing, what were your childhood aspirations? Uh, I'll say as a child, I actually had a lot of things that I wanted to do. I definitely thought about being an engineer. Exactly. I wanted to go to Covenant University to study engineering. Nothing just came like last minute. This question says, when are you getting married? Hmm. How are you sure I'm not already married? My plan has always been graduate from university, do my internship, do my NYSC, do my master's before I even think about that. God has his own plan. So let's see. You guys might just see me pull up with invitation card like tomorrow. <laughs> The other question says, what was the hardest part about growing up in the base? I'm sure a lot of you don't know, but I grew up in a base in Lagos. Now I'm not in Lagos again, but I literally spent my whole life in a base in Lagos. And this person is asking, what was the hardest part? <sighs> I just don't like the experience. I can't pinpoint like the hardest part about living there. I don't know. The energy is toxic there. I think anybody that is currently living in a base who agree with me that the energy is toxic. 22, about to be 23. Let me just say I'm 23. But I don't know why some people hide their age, but whatever you want to use my age to do, eh? Safe journey. What state are you from? I am from Edo State. Opekwe to be precise. Esako East, local government area. Please, how were you able to deal with school and content creation? Honestly, I started content creation in my final year final semester so i was not or oh, i'm not one of those people that started like since 100 level and i just figured out a way to like balance everything no i was pretty much very bad at balancing so i just knew that social media would not work but i wanted to start content creation from 100 level i just told myself respect yourself you know that if you start this thing that's the end i was now able to balance it in that 500 level was that i just did not prioritize social media I was just very inconsistent. If you check like my content, the period I'm having an exam, you will know from my content because I will probably not even show up. Another question says, is it healthy to have a boyfriend while in nursing school? If I understand what you're saying, you're trying to ask, what's my take on having a boyfriend in school? I had two boyfriends in the course of my five years in school. How was the experience? Hmm, the first one I had was in like 100 level second semester. One of the reasons why I liked him was because he was like an academically sound person. We knew that we could not distract each other. We're reading together, sharing past questions, but because we're in different departments, in 200 level, we like, did like separated us. At a point, it just got so overwhelming and yeah. It just had to end. The second one, however, was in like 500 level first semester. The person was not even in my school. He was not even in my state. It wasn't really a distraction to me. All in all, everything depends on you staying true to yourself. If you feel like the relationship you're about to enter is going to take out of your time, probably distract you from your studies, run with your two legs. <laughs> Do you know what? I was just talking about you in my YouTube video that I'm filming. Yes. Say hi to my YouTube channel. Hello. I know you're joking. I'm going to be using this macadamia oil to just like add a little bit of shine. This other person says, you're beautiful. Thank you so much. What's the name of the body cream you're using? If you're talking about my skin looking good, 99% genetics. Normally I use Vaseline. I recently did skincare shopping and I'm about to start using it. But for now, I just use my Vaseline. This question says, when are you going for NYSC? I have to do one year internship in a hospital. Whenever I start and I finish my 12 months program, I'm going to go for NYSC. Next question says, do you plan on going abroad? 
Yes, I do. If you asked me this question a few months ago, I would probably say, uh, I don't know. If I see any flight that is going to abroad, even if it's to enter the boots, I will enter and go. Because with the way NMCN is switching policies like this, I wouldn't like to be there. That's one of the reasons why I hated the school environment so much, because they could just bring out a new rule and it's like everybody must obey. This question says, I'm studying nursing in College of Nursing. Can I do a doctorate degree in nursing or BNSC first? To me, I've not done a lot of research on that, but I feel like before you can do PhD, you have to get your BNSC. How did you start your YouTube channel and TikTok channel? What inspired you? Growing up, I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and I was so inspired by seeing people create content and I was just like, God, I would love to be a content creator. So it started like in secondary school. I'll be like, oh my God, I can't wait to create my YouTube channel. Like I remember junior secondary school, I'll be making makeup videos. <laughs> so it was just me watching other people online. Yeah, that was like my inspiration. Someone said, will you advise someone to still study nursing in this present time, no. Honestly, my opinion, if I had an opportunity to go back in time, I wouldn't. So I would not advise anybody to do that. But I would just say that if you want to really study the nursing, if you really have passion for it and you have the money, go abroad to do it. That's my opinion, I'm so sorry. This is my sister and she says, can you send me money? <laughs> my question for you is why are you always broke? And that question says, how tall are you? The last time I checked, I think I was like 5'6 or 5'5. Five, five. I can't remember. It was somewhere around that range. This question says, are you allowed to go into content creation as a nurse? I think I know where this question is coming from because in the nursing ethics, there's a part that says something about you not being allowed to advertise. I would say it depends on the type of content you want to put out there. There's a branch of nursing called aesthetic nursing. Those people deal mainly with skin care conditions and cosmetic procedures. So if those people advertise skincare products, I don't think it's against their own rules. But being a nurse and advertising a skincare product in your code of ethics is not allowed. So this question says, I want to go to a university to study nursing. I'm so confused and don't know which you need to choose yet. Can you give me a few options, please? There is no perfect university. Every university is going to come with its own hiccup, come with its own shaggy. So just pick a particular state that you are comfortable experiencing your shaggy. Any university you pick, as far as it's accredited, if you are looking for accredited universities to study nursing, you can just check it online. There's a long list of universities. Choose one, go to their, let me say, social media page, or just go online. You see people that are in the school studying nursing, ask them about that. I went to Bingham University. I have friends that study nursing in like other schools, Afe Babalola, Madonna University, Babcock University. The same shege, like the shege is consistent no matter where you go. The um, imperfection is consistent. There's no school that is perfect. So just choose anyone you want as far as it's accredited so you won't have problems um, in the nearest future. What's my favorite color? I think being stuck between pink. I actually like pink. There was a point in my life that I was doing, no, I don't like pink. It's a girly color, but I do like pink. also really like gold. Someone asked, describe your favorite meal to someone who isn't Nigerian. My favorite meal at the moment is fried yam and egg. Brown normal African yam. Because I've been seeing some things online, purple yam, pink yam. Mm -mm. Peel the yam, cut it. The shape I like is that shape that looks like chips. Fry it. Put a bit of salt before you fry it here. Yeah? When it's golden brown in color, bring it out. And then for the egg, fry your onions, pepper, salt, add maggi. Maggi is like an African seasoning cube. Scramble the egg, not flat egg. Make sure you scramble it, serve it together. That's like what I've been loving. Another question says, what's your favorite type of movies to watch? I love watching heists. I love watching African cultural movies. I also like watching movies where there's like a psychopath. The actual horror movie does not scare me as much as movies that there's a psychopath and the plot twist is just almost making you run crazy. So I love those type of movies. Dogs or cats? I'm a big dog mom. I have two dogs currently. I'm not a cat person at all. What's something you are really bad at? Dancing. Hey God. Who are you closest to in your family and why? I think I'll say my mom because she just made herself like a safe space open for me to like talk to her. So at a young age, I was already telling her things that a lot of, you know, children would not want to tell their mom. Did not ever judge me. She didn't ever look down on me. And so there was no comparison. There was no judgment. 
there was just correction and there was just love. So that, that was why I just found myself going closer to her. We've come to the end of this video. If you like this video or if you even like my face at all, just subscribe, hit the like button, comment, we hit 1K subscribers. So, and tell me what you think of this hair. Tell me if you like it in the comment section. Yeah. Bye.